What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys the easiest scheme to run in Madden 23. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go in and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, I am in the single back boost close formation, but this. No, I can't talk. <laughs> this formation can be found in multiple different playbooks, but I'm in the Packers playbook, so that's why I did choose the Packers for today's video because I am in the Green Bay Packers playbook. But I'm gonna tell you why I like uh, the Packers playbook in a second, and I'm gonna show you, you know, why I chose this one. But first and foremost, um, I want to do a CFL because I, I love showing you guys gameplay, and the way I want to do gameplay from now on is either CFLs or money games, uh, either versus subs or players lounge or something like that. So. Those are two things I'm interested in. If you want to see, you know, gameplay, then um, just stay up to date with my channel, and I'll be doing that soon, hopefully. But if you want to join the CFL, please check out my website, allthingsmadden.com, and then you want to go to the Money CFL section, and that's if you're on PS4, you know, current gen. So current gen PS4, make sure you go uh, sign up, and then you'll be entered in a Discord, and uh, it's ten dollar entry fee. You'll be able to first place wins like two fifty, second place is fifty dollars, I believe. Uh, it's, it's something like that. I can't really remember, but it's along the lines of that. But anyways, if you're interested in that, please uh, check it out. Now, if you want ebooks, um, either me or if you want next gen ebooks, I do have Golden Mills on the website. Uh, make sure you check out his ebooks on there for your next gen people. And my current gen people, I have about 10 or 11 different formations on there already. So just kind of go check it out, see if you like something or if you want me to do something specifically. Make sure you go to the personal uh, ebook section and go and request for me to do a formation for you and i'll get right on that but anyways without further ado man uh actually last thing i will say if you're interested in this formation at all um you can request this formation on the website so just want to make sure i get all that out the way so now moving forward uh, i want to talk about personnel for offense so for offense um i put i took out aaron Rodgers. now the reason why i took him out is because i want to show you that you can you, you don't need a rod you know abilities to make these throws so i wanted to make sure i did take him out so you guys don't think that you have to have them you know now, uh, I like speed um, at these two positions, so that's why I do have uh, Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs. That's why I do not have in Sammy Watkins and, um, you know, Randall Cobb because they aren't the fastest players. I personally love speed, and it's because you're going to get a ton of man coverage. That's basically why uh, I like speed there. Now, if they're really good corners, then you want to put your best players there. So, like, if I was going against Jeer and, you know, uh, Jalen Ramsey or something like that, you know, if they were just like a, a mutt situation or something, then... Of course, at that point, I would just have my best route runners on the field. So, if that makes sense. But at Rays, you can get away with having, you know, sometimes you get mismatches. So, just have your best, have your fastest players out there for these two spots. And then, normally, you want a team that has two good tight ends, um, normally. But it's fine if you don't. Um, these They just happen to have Mercedes Lewis and uh, Robert Tunyon. But, anyways, why I like uh, the Packers playbook for single back deuce close. So, they have a lot of great run options. So, they have zone split, which I'm not too big of a fan of. But... Uh, HB Wham, you guys know Wham's always been good. Uh, they have had back zone week, which actually can be good versus certain defenses. And also, inside zone split can be good. That I can't talk to you. It can be good versus certain formations. But the stretch is actually extremely good. Um, you can flip it with no tails. Um, so I just kind of want to show you some of the run plays. But um, what I'm going to do is actually put in, you guys should know uh, Wham. I'm pretty sure you guys should know, uh, you know how Wham works. But if not, I'll leave that in because you guys should. You know what? No, no, no. What I'm going to do is, um, so the two passing plays I want to talk about is going to be X uh, post. Let me make sure I do have it right. So the two passing plays I want to talk about is X post cross, and I want to talk about PA boot corner post. So what I'm going to do is put PA boot corner post in there, and then I'm going to come out in a run play. Uh, let's come out and have back zone week, because to me that is one of, uh, uh, one of the better runs in this formation. Now, I chose the Rams simply because their defense is incredible on Madden. Um... So, you know, their secondary is pretty good, and they have a good, solid D-line, and they have a great linebacker core. So, um, the reason why I chose them is because when you run, when you run single back, you're mainly going to face, um, you're mainly going to face, like, 3-4-I, 3-3-5 normal, uh, not 3-3-5 normal, Jesus, 3-3-5 uh, wide type of defenses. So, anyways, what we're going to do is for audibles, you will get uh, people who are going to run cover four drop. So we're going to come out and cover four drop. They're going to run cover three. And if they're not doing that, they're literally just going to come out and pinch buck go. So let me put pinch buck go in there. And every now and again, you have people that run cover one robber or cover one hole and just use that safety up top. So I'm going to try to talk about everything. Um, and every so often, you have people that run zone blitzes, but it's really not. Uh, I'll, I'll mention what I like to do versus zone blitz. But um, anyway, what we're going to do is come out and cover four drop. Now, uh, first and foremost, I want to talk about the run. So, with the run play, you can flip it with no tail. So, I'm just flipping the analog stick. Notice how we can just do, you know, 
move the analog stick and we can keep you know rotating around how we want now i love to always double team the d tackle on run plays um because it's going to open up that middle a lot more but you definitely don't need to you know so don't think you have to every play just because i say it uh you just want to pay attention am i getting shedded a lot by the d tackle so i like to double team whoever i'm getting shedded by a lot so in this case i made double team um aaron donald over there just to try to you know stop from getting shedded but sometimes when you double team people it allows somebody else to come free so just Make sure, you know, you use that at your discretion, you know. So, just, you know, it's, it's good to just try and mix it up and see. But anyways, you definitely don't need to is what I'm saying. But anyways, you can kind of tell. You can flip through that play however you want to. Really nice play. Same thing. Uh, oh, oh, my bad. Excuse me. Other thing I like to do, too, sometimes is actually take this guy and motion him and actually get an extra blocker. And so now, uh, you know, he'll be able to get in the hole and, you know, notice how he gets the cutback lane that we could probably turn it up. Or I probably could have just went straight outside. So, I like to do that every now and again. Now, sometimes if I notice my run, my opponent's trying to run commit, then I would actually uh, flip the play. Um, actually, I can't flip it since I motioned them over. So, uh, what I like to do is just flip the run play. So, like, you know, I click the analog stick this way, and I'll actually do, like, a misdirection, and I'll ID this guy right here. And sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Uh, we'll try to ID that guy to see if they pick him up. Notice how right there they pick him up, and, you know, you get a, a nice little run lane. So, I like doing that whenever my opponent's trying to be smart. You know quote unquote smart um you know because a lot of times when they see if he's a decent player he's gonna think the runs coming to this side right because we have a whole bunch of bodies on this side we just brought a guy over here so a lot of times they're gonna use it this guy right here and they're, they're gonna shoot straight down in this gap right here like you see between 76 and 69 a lot of times they're gonna try to shoot that gap and when they do that a lot of times you can just you know you can be able to find a hole now obviously he didn't shoot the gap so that's why you know he's the one that made the play but you get the point, you know, so you get to do those creative things out of this. So same thing. Uh, I mean, this is just your uh, basic have back wham. You guys should pretty much know this one. Nothing really special. It's, it's the play that you guys know and love out of this play or know and hate, you know. So it's just one of those other good plays, too, as well. So also something I like to do, too, is motion my receiver out on runs because the passing concept I'm about to give you is going to involve just that. OK, so just wanted to make sure I did mention that. Look at Aaron Donald, man. Look, look at Aaron Donald. <laughs> but um yeah as you can tell with this game you want to run 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 pass the ball this is perfect for all you run you know all you people who love to spam the runs this is your formation so anyways i'm not gonna go over runs they're pretty self-explanatory it's already been seven minutes in the video so moving forward for what you guys came here for is passing right so i want to show you guys two great pass plays one's for zone one's for man coverage because you're gonna only, you're gonna run into like three different type of people you're gonna run to people who just sit in one zone coverage you're gonna run into people who sit in man coverage and you're gonna run into people who man blitz so that's what we're gonna be talking about when we talk about the pass game so first and foremost let's just talk about a standard coverage right so cover four drop because you get this a lot where people use or you know this linebacker or this linebacker and then they'll just want to play cover four drop style defense right so the play that will beat every single cover four drop, not every single cover four drop, my bad. The play that will beat every single zone coverage is going to be this PA boot corner post, which is extremely good. So what I like to do is motion the guy that's doing a little uh, post out. And I like to take triangle, put him on a streak and take X or tight end, put him on a drag route. Now, this setup is extremely good because what we're gonna have open is square, and depending on how much time we have in the pocket, depends on when we can throw this ball. Now, you will almost always, uh, as right there as I'm about to throw a pick, um, you wanna step up in the pocket, but that window that you see me throw, you'll be able to throw that just about every single time. And also, I am on all Madden practice mode, so that's why they are playing coverage a little tighter. But uh, essentially, what's gonna happen here is that uh, we're banking on the fact that the user following this route right here. Now, this route will not get open versus normal zones, okay? So if they got a purple or a cloud, do not throw this right here or you will throw a pick, okay? So uh, what this is for is to bait the user. So we want the user to follow this route and we want to throw this ball right here, right now. Now, I know it looks like he can make a play, but if you throw this ball right now, he'll actually, uh, you can throw it in front of him and then you get like a possession catch animation. So notice how my player, right, I let him inside and he moved inside. And normally you'll be able to throw that. Now this is just a rare time where we just got kind of a bad, unfortunate thing that happened. But I'm gonna throw this ball a couple more times to show you. But in the case, in the scenario that it's not open, you can always dump this ball right here, okay? Because most of the time this guy will drop back and sink under that and we'll be able to throw this ball right when he settles up and not, you know, like I said, just get dumbed out and just go straight out of bounds. That that's that's a really practice mode thing. But anyways, um again that setup, you just wanna take, let's go back to PA boot corner post. You wanna take triangle, put him on a streak, literally motion that guy out, and then while he's motioning, you can just take X, put him on a drag. And then snap the ball right here. And it's good because a lot of times they're going to do a good job block, double teaming that end. So right here, um, they just aren't letting me throw it. Um, you can throw it. Trust me. Um, 
I'm gonna show you right here because uh, it's it's more of me. Uh, because if you guys noticed what's been happening, my quarterback hasn't been able to like regather himself after coming out of play action. So you kind of want to go here. Um, Jesus, look at Aaron Donald making life hard on me. Let me spot him real quick because I just need to show you that you can throw this ball. And also, you also can't have one play touchdown versus cover four drop. But um, normally in game, uh, you'll be able to throw that ball. I, I promise you. Um, but because that the gap that's open is gonna be uh, right there in the middle. So let me go. I picked the wrong play by accident. Here we go right here. Take X, put him on a drag. We're going to go ahead and motion that guy out. And I thought about making this two separate videos because this is going to be kind of a little bit of a longer video. But anyways, what you want to do is kind of wait. And then you're going to stop. And then you're going to throw that ball right up in there in that gap. Now, like I said, you can throw. You can tell how fast you can throw that ball. It's just uh, for some reason they wouldn't let um, Jordan Love regather himself. It might be because he's 66 overall. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much how that works. Now, next thing I want to show you is you actually can bomb a uh, cover for a drop for a one-play touchdown um using literally the same exact setup and what you want to do is actually take this uh and roll out all the way to the other side so you'll come here and then you'll kind of uh run and then you're gonna be able to throw that ball up and over that cornerback and it works so well because of the play action blocking is actually extremely good on this particular play so only use this like i said don't try to do that if they're uh running like a zone blitz this is just for if they're running standard cover for drop because this is a really, really common defense for people to run. Now, last thing I want to show you that deal with a cover four drop is that you actually don't have to roll out all the way to the other side of the pocket if you don't want to. What you can do, if I get time, you can actually stop, 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 and then you can throw square like that. Except for you'd want to throw a bullet, but obviously I just got to throw out a sack. But I'm going to show you why I threw that. Like I said, that is only a desperation. Like if you see it, you can definitely get it, okay? You can definitely throw that. I just need to show you why you can definitely throw that. But like I said, it all depends on how much time you have in the pocket. Now, obviously, like I said, you can throw this ball right here, which is what I've been trying to explain to you. You can make this throw. You just throw this ball right now, and he'll be able to undercut it. You can tell how he has to keep backing up for that streak. That's what I was trying to explain to you the first time. But anyways, what I was going to explain to you why you can throw this is because look at this. So he actually gets glitched out. He does not go back any further. Now, if you have time, he'll actually be able to keep running just like you've seen me do. I just had to throw this ball because, you know, like I said, I just ran out of time. And that's why I said I recommend you if you wanted to throw that, uh, you would just take your guy right now and just scramble out to this side. Just like I showed you on the last play. So I know I have a problem over explaining things. I do it because uh, some of you guys may not, you know, I like to cater to everybody, you know. So some of you guys can get it and say, okay, well, I get it. Move on to the next thing. Some of you guys like it when I take my time and just show you guys. So, you know, uh, I just choose to take my time, you know. Now, uh, we also can split cover three. Now, I really love this setup versus cover three, right? So kind of watch with cover three um, because this is what you'll mostly get to. You'll get mostly cover three and man coverage. You you get cover four drop every now and again. But what's nice is that square, uh, you'll be able to tell if I'll just stop getting under pressure and accurate. But square is going to open up real nicely. And I love this concept simply because the user is going to be wrong every single time. So, uh, for example, when the user sees this run action right here, they're going to actually play the run just because of how much you're going to run the ball, right? So a lot of times they're going to be shoot, trying to shoot the gap. Then they're going to try to look for something to cover. And a lot of times they're actually going to run with this route right here. Then they'll try to bait you down low because they're not going to see that this post is about to break across. They don't see that until it's too late. And by that time, you're already going to have this dot that's cooked up. You can tell there's nobody here. That's what it's going to look like online, literally. There's going to be nobody there. Now, if they zone blitz you, okay? So if they zone blitz you, this is what I want you to do, right? So... You just simply just want to, uh, let's go back to PA boot corner post. You always want to keep that streak on the field. Uh, what you want to do is just block your tight end that's not running it. And you want to block your running back twice. So if you block him once, he shades to the left. If you block him twice, he goes straight back. And this one's normally better than me, um, but it's your preference, obviously. But right here, you can kind of tell uh, what we're going to be able to do is have square in that gap right there. And um, if you want to, you can keep that play action too as well. So if they are zone blitzing you, um, you can actually keep the play action. It's just, you know, just be careful. You know, it's play action, of course, so just be mindful. So if you notice you're getting sacked in there, in there um, you know, you're, you're canceling play action, just go ahead and uh, keep the uh, running back with the play action and notice how we get the blocking right here. And then, of course, we can't get away. But you can tell Square is actually going to get open. And also, cover uh, Square works like how uh, Cover 4 Drop works, where we actually have a one-play touchdown cooked up against Cover 3. And we're about to make this video move a lot faster. I just needed to take my time to show you this. But uh, look how kind of uh, the cornerback is going to stop right here. And we can actually throw this ball over his head for a one-play touchdown, which I will promise you I'm going to show you that here. And then we'll talk about Cover 2. Then we'll talk about Man and that will be the video. So what I'm going to do. Is, uh, actually, I'm not even going to spot nobody because I want to show you. You can actually have time to throw this just because of how good this play action is. 
And like I said, if you if you guys like my longer videos where I take my time and tell you what the user will be doing and what covers they'll be like, let me know. Um, or if you want shorter style videos, let me know too. But anyways, you would come here and um, I forgot Jordan Love can't do it, but it's cool. It, it, it's fine. Um, you, you don't have to be that exaggerated. Uh, you can actually just roll, and I, I'll just show you here real quick. So you don't have to be exaggerated as I did. You could literally just you could have just stood right here the whole time and then waited. Um, I was just trying to buy a little bit of time. But anyways, what I wanted you to pay attention to is look at how look how this route's ran. So he's not going to play it. So he's going to just st stay right here and be stuck, and then you'll be able to throw it over his head. So just so I keep running this over and over again, um, I'm going to spy these two. And like I said, you, you really don't need to. Um, and there's also better ways to bomb cover three in this formation. I'm just kind of showing you just like if they just happen to run cover three and you happen to run this setup, then you can actually bomb cover three if you have time in a pocket, right? That's all I want you to see. Please don't, Aaron Donald. Look at Aaron Donald. Look at him. But y'all seen square, right? He got open. I'm not running this play again. Y'all seen it. So moving forward, uh, I want to show you guys cover two because uh, they are just lighting up over there on that side. So I'm going to spy these two. And I'm only spying just so I can have time. Because I'm not going to run this setup again. This video is already a little bit too much, too long than I like it to be. So this is a setup that I love um, versus every single zone coverage. And I'm going to show you why real quick. So look at X. And then you want to come back. And then square can also get open too if you are able to have time. So I really love this scheme with like a mobile style quarterback. But you definitely don't have to have one. You definitely could just sit in the pocket. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get open. But also, remember, you don't have to throw this read every single time, okay? So him, you don't have to throw this route every single time. You have reads to make. Um, you can see if there's zone, if there's zone dropping, you'll choose between these two if there's zone dropping. But most of the time, you're going to have this right route right here that's going to settle up in your face. And you'll always have this right here. If they play hard flat, obviously, you'll be able to pass lead this guy up. If they play a hard flat, that makes sense. So... Um, this is just saying like worst case scenario. I just want to show you that the mid read does not play this route That's why I wanted to roll out and give you time. So if you have time, it's a great great throw to make But there are better plays for zone blitzes So I love this play whenever they're sitting back in zone coverage, you know your basic ones now uh, Last thing I want to talk about is man coverage because this is the man coverage You'll see um, when they run man, they'll be responsible for the running back. They may pinch their line You know they may do whatever you know, but they're gonna be responsible for that running back, right? So you have two options here. So what I like to do is always send out three versus the man blitz. Now, normally I like to cancel this play action because you will get sacked a lot of times doing that play action. Now, what I like to do is actually take whatever receiver or whatever tight ends on the opposite side of this uh, route right here, this crosser. So in this case, it's going to be Mercedes Lewis. And I say it like that because if we flip the play, now it's going to be this tight end. I want this uh, route to be ran with, if that makes sense. But uh, my fastest player or my number one receiver, I won't run in this post route. That's how I want it to be. So what I like to do is take that tight end, like I told you, that's opposite the crosser. We're going to take him, put him on the end route. We're going to small route his end route. And then we're going to take square and we're going to motion him out. So now we're going to make him think we're doing the same play again. But what we're doing now, um, now actually you have two options, excuse me. So you can do it that way where you motion that guy. Or you can motion him out and then snap the ball. You can motion snap. Oh, you can't motion snap him actually, but you can motion him out if you need to. So whichever one you want is completely up to you. Now Jalen's probably going to absolutely bag uh, him, but what I wanted to show you as I throw a pick again, <laughs> because uh, like I said, all Matt Braxton most sheds are crazy, but it's fine because I just needed to show you, you know, realistically what will happen. So the reason I like this is because we're going to make the user have to choose right off the bat because what they're going to do is just what you've seen this person do right here or this uh, linebacker he's going to kind of go and then kind of come out and look for something to cover and a lot of times they're going to sit and actually play this so no matter what they choose a lot of times you'll have this route open just because it's such a great man beater route especially if that's your number one receiver now if for some reason he goes and chases that then we have two options here between these two routes and Jalen's obviously going to bag him just because he's uh, lighting up but Essentially, you're going to make those read. It does a good drive over. It does a great job of rubbing both routes. So we have a three-way read where we have uh, where we're attacking different sides of the field. So I really, really love that setup versus uh, all-out man blitz where we're only sending three. Now, if they're playing a man coverage shell, you know they're playing regular man and they're probably let's say they're putting purples or something. They're you know shading over the top and they're using you know this guy right here. So if they're doing something like that, then I still love to go to this PAX cross or whatever and if i notice they're sitting sitting in uh, man coverage and not blitzing then i'll simply do the same thing but i'll take x right here and uh, put them on a drag and then norman i block my running back still or you can keep the play action it doesn't matter um it's completely up to you now if i keep that play action i should mention it real quick so let's go back to um let's go back to it real quick so if i keep that play action um so let's 
set it up. Now, if I keep that play action, then what I'll actually do is take X, put them on in route, on smart route is in route, or um, I'll put double drags on the field like this. So sometimes I like to do this, uh, and I'll take R1 right here and put them in the middle of the field. So then we have just this clear, clear read between circle, and then we have triangle and X, and we have square. So uh, this is another way I like to do it. Like I said, I can look at triangle, look at X, I can look at circle, and my last read, I could peep at square. So um those are just a couple things that i like to do versus man coverage and anyways that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video though and like i said man if they're running man coverage that's what you get most of the time please 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 make sure you do try running the ball a lot of good run plays in this formation if that doesn't work you want to mix in the pass occasionally of course and then i like to use the px cross okay so anyways that's gonna wrap it up for this video i do hope you have a blessed day i'm rage real and i'm out